All right, we do have some breaking news to tell you about tonight. Ford and the UAW have agreed on a new contract. Right on the heels of the union's deal with General Motors. We bring in Jason Colthorpe, who is at uh, Sterling Axel tonight, where we've got a deal that I guess was pretty much expected. Jason? Yeah, not a huge surprise here, Devin. Many auto experts, our own Rod Maloney included, believe that this would be like dominoes. Once GM had a deal with the UAW, the rest of the big three would follow, and that's exactly what's playing out. A week after the United Auto Workers approved a deal to end a six-week strike with General Motors, Ford has struck a deal with its union leadership. The tentative contract is a four-year deal. The UAW strategy has always been to focus on wages and benefits for its members, as well as investment by Ford in its American facilities. And the UAW saying tonight that was no different this time around. In reality, the deal will likely mirror the GM deal, where employees got ratification bonuses of up to $11,000, 3% wage increases and other bonuses, and keeping their gold standard health care as it is. Ford isn't commenting tonight other than to say a proposed tentative deal is in place, but the union negotiators say they weren't just watching and waiting while GM workers walked the picket line. During those six weeks, they were able to, in their words, maintain productive negotiations with Ford. So what's next? The UAW and Ford National Council will meet to look at this proposed tentative agreement. And if they can agree on everything that's in it, it will then go to the rank and file for their approval. And then, of course, it'll be on to the next one. And we'll wait and see what happens with Fiat Chrysler. Live in Sterling Heights tonight, Jason Coulter, Local 4. We will. Okay, Jason, thank you. In more automotive news, a merger between Fiat Chrysler and Peugeot's PSA Group could be announced as early as tomorrow. Both automakers are staying silent, but the Wall Street Journal reports that there is a deal to merge the two companies. It would create the fourth largest automaker in the world, with a deal projected to be worth about $50 billion. Both automakers have called unscheduled board meetings to discuss the merger.